this episode of the New Brunswick Adventures, Robin and I are recapping the first two seasons of the series. It's been a blast showing you our beautiful province, and we hope you enjoyed your time with us. Sit back and enjoy a look back at the New Brunswick Adventures Season 1 and 2. Our very first New Brunswick adventure brought us to the impressive and breathtaking Bay of Fundy. The Bay of Fundy boasts the world's highest tides, and there is no better place to experience this phenomena than Hopewell Rocks Provincial Park. Twice a day, these tides wash along the shore. At its highest, the tide can reach 46 feet, and then hours later, you can walk on the ocean floor. Just a short distance from Hopewell Rocks is Cape Enrage, which I reluctantly repelled down a 140-foot cliff to the ocean floor. From repelling to cave exploring to cave kayaking, the Bay of Fundy area has lots to offer. The bay is fed by New Brunswick's largest river, the St. John. And at the city of St. John, you can see where these two mass forces of water collide at the reversing falls. And if you're feeling adventurous, then you can take the jet boat ride. And one of the most unique experiences is Minister's Island. The dramatic tides of the Bay of Fundy reveal this sandbar bridge, which makes the island accessible by car. For many years, this was the only way to visit the island. However, at high tide, visitors can now make use of a boat service to explore the island as tour guides shuttle you around for the grand tour. It's most famous for being the summer home of Canadian Pacific Railway builder, Sir William Van Horn. This was Van Horn's summer cottage, built in 1892. Keep in mind, we are just seeing a glimpse of the massive frame of the finback whale. These are the world's second largest whales and can grow up to 70 feet in length. You can see as many as seven different species of whales in the bay. And if it's whales you're looking for, then the Gramanan Island is your destination. Gramanan is part of the Fundy Isles and the only way to get there is by ferry. Once you're there, whales are not far away. What is so amazing about whale watching on Gramanan Island is that although there are very few right whales left in the world, you'd never know it, because in the short period of time that you are on the water, you will see dozens of these massive mammals rise to the surface. This island was once the summer getaway of American President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So this is the master bedroom where President Roosevelt fell ill with polio, am I correct? You're right. This is also the room where their son, Franklin Jr., was born in 1914. They had six children. Um, one died as an infant, so they raised five. The oldest was a girl, and then the rest were all boys. Welcome back to the New Brunswick Adventures. New Brunswick is blessed with beautiful coastlines on its eastern shore. Along the Bay of Chalor in northern New Brunswick, extreme sports enthusiasts like to combine wind, kite, the bay, and a board to catapult themselves into the air. Skateboarding is all about the, the freedom of uh, being with the element, the wind, the, the water. It's almost being towed by a boat, but without uh, any engine or any noise, nothing. We are now off to the main attraction at Cochabacuac Park, the Grey Seal Colony. Hundreds of these seals congregate on sandbars, and when visitors arrive, these curious mammals take to the water for a closer look. Blow off some hot air at Sussex Balloon Festival. Tap your feet at the Harvest Jazz and Blues Festival in Fredericton. Or take a cultural adventure in Karakut during the Tentama on Acadian Day. In southern New Brunswick near Fredericton is King's Landing. It's similar to the Acadian village in some ways but it gives you a glimpse of British loyalist life in the 1700s. The native Maliseet and Mi'kmaq called this area home. Welcome to Metapanagiag Heritage Park, Upchiliasi. The Metapanagiag Heritage Park rests on the shores of the little southwest Miramichi River. The Metapanagiag means high banks in Mi'kmaq, and this area is the oldest community in New Brunswick, dating back more than 3,000 years. Welcome back to the New Brunswick Adventures and our look back at the past two seasons of the show. 
So far, we've taken you from the Bay of Fundy to the Bay of Shalor. But every ocean is fed by a river. And in New Brunswick, there are three main rivers to speak of. The St. John, the Miramichi, and the Restigouche. The Miramichi and Restigouche are two of the greatest Atlantic salmon fishing rivers in the world. Beautiful fish. Restigouche salmon, let's put them back, catch and release. The fishing on the Miramichi is equal that of the Restigouche. And along the Miramichi River, in the village of Doaktown, is the Salmon Museum. This museum is devoted to the rich history of the river. There are 52 species of fish in New Brunswick, and in my hometown of Bathurst, mackerel is king, and it is the fish to hook in the month of August. Eight at one time you caught? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, you lost one there, but we <laughs> saw that. Standing guard over the city of St. John is the Carlton Martello Tower National Historic Site. The tower was built during the War of 1812, a conflict that resulted from strained relations between Great Britain and the United States. Looking at the view, you can see why they would have picked this area to build a Martello Tower. This was obviously the, the barracks, is this what this Yes, the entrance to the tower is on the second level. At the time, there would have been ladders outside, and you enter the barracks level. So this is essentially the living quarters of the soldiers. Zip lines, outdoor rock festivals, and a zoo featuring the gibbon, Molly, on lead vocals. Is she going to sing for me? We can try to get Molly to sing. She usually goes and sits on a rock. I guess she's going to just literally hang around for a few minutes also offers non-grounded activities. Did I mention I'm petrified of heights? 